A never-before-seen video from the Rust movie set is raiding questions about Alec Baldwin's conduct. During the trial of armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed, prosecutors played behind-the-scenes footage showing Baldwin firing one prop more, guns more, on set and appearing to rush the armorer. This is the assistant director took the stand describing the moment cinematographer Helena Hutchins was fatally shot. ABC's Whit Johnson has more. Ready and action. Prosecutors painting the picture of a chaotic movie set in a criminal trial against rust armorer Hannah Gutierrez. Jurors getting a look at outtakes from the troubled Western, some of which seen publicly for the first time, showing star and co-producer Alec Baldwin emerging from a wooden shed, firing shots from a pistol. One more, one more, one more. I forgot to recall stuff. No, no, right away, right away. Let's reload. Here we go. Baldwin appearing to rush the crew to reload for another take. Gutierrez seen quickly approaching, grabbing blanks out of her fanny pack. The prosecution's expert witness, a veteran armorer, reacting to the footage. That conduct that we're seeing on the part of Mr. Baldwin, is that typical uh, conduct from an actor on a movie set? No. Why not? Well, number one, uh, he's basically instructing the armorer how to do their job at that point. This is that moment that you need to stop and say, no, I'm not going to hurry up. I'm going to slow down. Baldwin was rehearsing on the New Mexico set when the revolver he was holding fired a live round, killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins back in October 2021. He's pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter with a trial scheduled for July. States Exhibit 155. Prosecutors revealing new videos like this one, showing a stuntman handing a gun to a child actor, arguing there was repeated negligence on set. Gutierrez also accused of drug and alcohol use. She's been charged with involuntary manslaughter and tampering with evidence. It's a really difficult case. It's extremely tragic. David Halls, the first assistant director on Rust, who took a plea deal for his role in the shooting, delivering this emotional account of what unfolded. Did you speak to Ms. Hutchins when you approached her? I did. What did you say? Are you all right? Did she respond? Yes. She said, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Hulls also testified that he accepted the plea deal in part because he wants the truth to be known so that something like this never happens again. Alec Baldwin's trial is set for July. Some of these same videos are expected to play an important role. Diane? ABC's Whit Johnson, thank you. And for more on this, let's bring in ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer. Brian, how do you think this footage impacts the case against Hannah Gutierrez Reed? I think, Diane, it, it can cut both ways. One in the sense of just showing the chaos on the scene. And we heard from the expert that you just showed a few minutes ago, Brian Carpenter said, this isn't what a scene uh, or a set is supposed to be like. The armor is supposed to have the utmost control as to when guns are being used. And the defense put back saying, yes, but this is Hannah Gutierrez Reed's second movie. I think there might be sympathy for her there, but her role is supposed to step in. And I think that's a very heavy um, thought that's going to be passing on the jurors' minds to come verdict time or come deliberation. Brian, David Halls is the person who handed Baldwin the gun in this case. He pleaded guilty to negligent use of a deadly weapon. He also called Gutierrez Reed's performance on the job unacceptable. What did you make of his testimony? His testimony provided two things. One, it provided the, the, the empathy of having someone testify to Helena Hutchinson's last words. And, and that's an important thing for the jury, to, to humanize the victim and to give them uh, those final words. But also his um, words as to Hannah Gutierrez Reed's uh, conduct. On one hand, it shows that she might be culpable, that she might be negligent or reckless. On the other hand, though, I can see the defense making the argument of, so why did you employ her? Why did you keep this going on? Didn't you, the first assistant, and even potentially Alec Baldwin, who was also facing charges, see the issues and maybe should have stepped in earlier to resolve this and maybe would not have been here? So I can see jurors looking at this both ways, and I think this will be a long, de long deliberation, sorry, one way or another. Now, Alec Baldwin has pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter. So how could what we've seen so far in this trial impact his trial? Well, I think those unseen uh, clips that we're now seeing now, seeing his attitude of hurry up, reload, let's go, 
pushing the armor to do things that, as this expert has said, is, is against what her role is. Uh, Gutierrez Reed should have said, hey, slow down. Let's make sure that all the checks and balances and the T's are crossed and the and the I's are dotted. But you're seeing Alec Baldwin's attitude there. And I don't think that's going to be helpful to him when his trial comes up. Maybe people will see it as, well, if he gave this person the opportunity to do their job, we wouldn't be here today. All right, ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.